other guys all on Rogue Dwayne? Yeah. I'm all Rogue yep. Dwayne. Even yep. Beth. You, you, he, he joined just when we start like doing the action and he's like, oh yeah. Oh he yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, let's jump into it. Last time, were you going to say something? Last time, your group dealt with some creepy stuff. Some expected, some less expected. Uh, after getting the, re uh, the requested information from Agatha, uh, made easy thanks to the heirloom, you went far and beyond to secure. Uh, you made your way to the old owl well, where Cade, scouting ahead, noticed a corpse walking in its side. <laughs> Tamara learned the thing by knocking on the wall, and combat began. <laughs> the sound of which started gathering more and more zombies. When almost surrounded, a strange figure appeared and started shouting seemingly mad. The zombies apparently stopped attacking and you started dialoguing with the man, learning about his, his intentions and confirming the rumors you've heard about the place. What would you guys want to do? So right now you, um, so to situate everyone again, uh, you, you see a, a man in right robes. Uh, his face is kind of pale, um, sickly even, and uh, he has a tattoo on his forehead. Uh, apart from that, there is zombies uh, coming out of the tower in the crack in the wall where you started uh, seeing them and gathering them, but also from the main entrance. And as you were uh, fighting, uh, the human came out and uh, shouted at you guys to uh, know what was the meaning of this. And uh, you started talking about uh, why you was here, why why you were there. Um, he said that he was doing research. You guys uh, uh, said that you might be able to uh, help, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. It was kind of in the middle of the discussion, so I don't know where you guys want to kind of pick it up. Um, uh, you, you mentioned the, the guy has tattoos. Are they particular? Can, can we make any sense of the tattoos or just plain old um, tattoos? You can... You can make either a history check or a arcana check. Uh, don't think it's gonna be arcana. Uh, no, history. Uh, either way, I both suck with both. It's gonna be <laughs> oh, it. Be lucky. It's gonna look like a tattoo. Yep, it's a twelve. <laughs> e either way, it doesn't matter. I don't have any. Uh, Pluses, bonus. So. So, 12? 12. Uh, yeah, with 12, um, you <clears throat> you recognize, like, the, the garb uh, of the guy as being uh, usual for, say, a land f uh, far from the east, where a wizard tattoo pattern uh, on their flesh about, like, their school of magic. A fey? Fey. T H A Y. That's a. S Thai. That's a city? That's a. Yeah? Thai? <laughs> what did it mean? Thai? <laughs> I don't know. It's like Thai, but with a Y. Well, yeah. Well, if it's Thai, I guess it's Thai. Thai? And we, uh, okay, so tattoo patterns that comes from Thay, but that's all I can make out of. 
Okay. Well, um, we we had a discussion out I of. Know something. Yep. I want to know something from that man. I'm clearly like I want to know, and I got a lot of insight. Like with my <laughs> Kalimbor suit, uh, I want to know if he recognizes me from like who I am, what I am, etc. Uh. Make an inside check. Yeah, I got it. Win this ride. I'm back, baby. 23 um, <clears throat> you you get the feeling that he, he noticed like uh, your uh, how you're dressed and make and uh, what it means what it means yes <laughs> <All right. laughs> I say hey uh, hey uh, big boy what's your name my name is Cost. Alright, so Cost, alright. Do you know at all who or what I am? Oh no. You are a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, any other observation to make? You seem to follow a god. You know which one? And serve him. Yes. Alright. I'll be glad to help with your research on the undead. Right. Just uh, close them somewhere safe, and we'll get going. Close, close them. Yeah. What just, do you mean? Just put them in a place where they can't hurt us. You know what I mean? That's gonna be proof that we can trust you. Well. I'm not gonna let my guard down with you guys. I don't How even do you know you. You expect us to help if you don't trust us. We're just I here mean, to uh, to get you going so that you can free all these undead people. I mean, you don't look like a bad guy. I don't look like a bad guy. No, I mean. We all do at some point. Look at us. Yeah, but I mean, Except you maybe guys better. aren't. You guys are not gonna keep my protection up. It takes We're time to raise protection. those. You yeah, are gonna stay there for the whole time of my research here. I plan to stay for another three weeks. Three weeks? I thought three years. Just, uh, I don't like to see those undead around, you know what I mean? It's either uh, living people or dead people. We got everything under control for rations, for camping. We'll let you in your tower. We just want to, you know, help. I understand that. So that you can get on your way. I'm not going anywhere, though. Make a... Make a persuasion check. Is that guy dead? That that undead, is he dead? Uh, there's one that is dead there's under him. One underneath. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so they are... There are, like, six undeads. That you yep. can see. Okay. 
Uh, what do you ask me to roll? I'm sorry. Make a persuasion check. I can't do that. Persuasion is uh, 19. Um, I can drop half of them to show you my how I can trust you guys. And uh, how many is that? My voice changed. I changed the voice. <clears throat> and how many is that? That that's. <laughs> I currently have 10 under my protection. That and that are too many, and they are causing troubles to the people who live here. It's not only that, but I mean, they're pretty much slaves, you know, so I don't feel comfortable. I'm, I'm the, trying to make a compromise here. Thank you for dropping those half. How would you go about that? I would like, can I, can I, can you like do it now? It would take some time. All right. For them to arrest. We will be waiting. Can we enter your tower? You have, do we have your hospitality? Do you have anything to offer? Just to Our at least and give protection. me something to show that you are. I mean, I'm going to do a big favor oh, for you to make you, you comfortable. A, oh, you want a, a gesture of gratitude. Yes. Well, we were talking about oh, taking care of orcs. I want you to show me that I can trust you. Before how, you I, money? how long? How long is it gonna take for you to drop half of your hundred? How long does it take to put them to rest? It's gonna take an hour or so. And you said something about. You got a cart? No, we don't. We came by foot. Yeah. Oh, you forgot. You forgot some at the cart is still in uh, Coneyberry. The other side of the mountain. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have a cart. Oh. I <laughs> guess I forgot about that. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I've. I heard about a benching not too far from here, and I'm in need of information. I need to ask you a question. If you guys go and do that for me, that would be a token of your trust. So uh, then we can strike a bargain. I have a lot a of information. A banshee? Yeah. <laughs> Side quest. <laughs> All right, side quest of a side quest. I like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. where, where? Wait, before before we go anywhere else, where would that banshee be? In Coneyberry, the town yeah. not too far. That uh, I believe. I believe that banshee's gone. What do you want to know? We might know the answer already. We might. I want to know the name of the wizard that built. The old owl well. Hey, with that, we don't have. <laughs> uh, we okay, have sure. we <laughs> might. No, no, maybe maybe we know. Oh, yeah. yeah. When was oh, the tower don't. built? Sorry? When was the tower yeah. built? Do you know that information? I'm still researching, but... I think it's been a thousand years. A thousand? And do you know where the wizard would come from? Sorry? 
Do you know where the wizard would come from? I have no idea. But that Benchy, she's a fortune turner. She knows a lot. Because I might know the answer. Was the... Did it break? Uh, no. Don't give the information out. Sorry. Was he a wizard or he was a necromancer? I, I wouldn't know. He was a guy doing magic. All right, so let's say, let's let's just say uh, we agreed to it. I mean, it took us some trouble to get out here, and. Uh, you know, let's just say we're kind of tired as well. Your undeads, I, I mean, some a lot of them give us trouble just for coming in. I mean, they attacked us. They you attacked attack us. them. No, no, they attacked us. They came after us. They are looking around. You attacked them first. Well, let's just say agree to disagree. But hey, I mean, we're kind of exhausted. Would you mind if we stay here for one night? And then we go tomorrow, come back with your answer. I can agree to this. I think that's a good idea for both of our party to set some ground for trust. Could you keep the the undead on the outside of the tower of the wall? Yeah, that can be done. He just turns around and uh, the zombie kind of starts circling uh, the tower and patrol around instead of inside the walls. So did he uh, say he can't do that, or he can? He can. He can. So he, he did say yes to us getting inside. Yep. Yes. So we can see the tower. We can go inside mm, yep. the tower now. Oh, okay. Just uh, so, between the, uh, the wall. I'm like, just, mm. um, so... The expression I have some out is really like that of a pity and empathy towards the undead. I don't hate them. I'm just like these poor people, you know, they, they're supposed to be dead. I look very sad. So I like, like to each of them, I'm, 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 I'm kind of stopping and, and doing a little prayer on the side. So it takes me a while to get inside. All right. Can I oh. ask you a question, guy, zombie guy? Zombie guy. I don't remember your name. Did he ghost. tell us? Ghost. Right. Okay. Uh, He's a ghost. These <laughs> people are from the cemetery in, in, in Coneybury. You are the guy who is uh, grabbing the bodies, take him from his graves. Make a, make a persuasion check. <laughs> persuasion? Yeah. Oh, I think... Oof. Okay. It's okay. gonna be a disaster! 12 minus 1, 11. Um, let's eat first. And he, he, he goes into uh, uh, not dead people if they're if uh, possible. Would we'll, we'll be nice to have fresh. Or I'm, I don't eat dead. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I'm not judging. I'm just saying I'm, that's not my. At plate. some point, we all eat things that are dead. Plate. It depends on how long they've been dead. Of course, I judge him. <laughs> 
<laughs> he, he goes back into uh, his tent uh, to prepare some food, and like he, he seems very well uh, established. Like uh, that, it, it's a big tent that he can stand in it. Uh, there's like um, a, a study with a desk that you can uh, like write on it. He has a there's a well with fresh water in the middle uh, that is like built in in the tower, uh, and. He has a fireplace with something to like hold the cauldron on top of it and somewhere to 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 see is is settled for uh here for some okay like, uh while I, while used to be like uh so sometime. what i want to do is so this is a ruin and there's one tent and maybe some cooking stuff and that's it so he made camp basically in the tower i want to see where is his grimoire uh, make it person. We what? lost you, so it's a per persuasion. <laughs> Perception. Okay. <laughs> per per is it persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Wild guest. Uh, I had three options that start with per. per. So, uh, guys, come uh, here, come 18. here. I, while while the guy is inside also, I try to like, gather everyone up. And uh, I'll continue after the persuasion. All right. 18. Um, you're looking, like, all around, or? Um, yeah, well, both on him and in his tent. All right. So, uh... Specifically. You, he seems to have like it, it, it's not showing per se, uh, on uh, in the tent, but you, you kind of are able to glimpse in his robe, like maybe uh, a bulge somewhere that could uh, resemble uh, uh, the book or his grimoire or spell book. Okay, so, so he seems to have it, it. yeah. Alright, cool. Okay. Cool, cool. So, um, just, just so you guys know, I don't think, I'm not sure, it's uh, kind of out of my expertise, I don't think we can go back and ask, uh, what's her face, the Banshee? Dang it. Uh, another question, I just think she's gone. I know, I mean... I but it was I, never the plan to begin with. And the only information we have about a wizard would be like uh, Tamara oh, whispered oh, earlier, uh, Spirinot from the city of Iriabor. Iriabor. So we agree, we killed this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the if plan? we take the 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 book he had, maybe. Maybe we have a chance because I don't think we have a chance right now. He has a lot of bad things. Yeah, but pretty soon or... he's gonna have only five of them. He's not gonna have ten. Okay. But I don't know how quickly he can bring them back. He says it's long, but is it? It's it's up to what point do we trust him? I mean, the guy is. Surrounded by undead. The other thing is we can save the information we have. Uh, we don't know this necromancer. It could be he's the wizard or not. Whatever. He can just make his own, uh, I don't know, his own thoughts. And well, that's my, it. my concern is that he's probably working for a higher uh, organization and... Uh... It could, uh, you know, <laughs> maybe Use killing him is just killing the symptom. You know, you cut the branch, but I mean, we need to chop down the tree you know, at some point. I need to report back on this. What if he's after the same book that Gariel is, but he's like from the dark side and she's from the 
light side. That's that's another option. So, Matt, have you encountered lots of necromancer? Because I, I, uh, I never had the, the opportunity. Have, I? have you? Uh, have I? A DM? Have I? And um, with that question, how many of those were? How many? Tell me their eye colors and. I'm uh, yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. Race level. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. we're in a. You can, can make, I make something arcade. up, or do I have yeah. to? Okay. Uh, and um, so, what was the second question? Uh, 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 how many of them were helpful, or were just plain old jerks, or oh, were pure so evil? All necromancers. Yep. Evil. Yep. Evil. Evil. But I know that, considering I'm like. Part of uh, the church that a, is solely focused on destroying ar the ar answer. <laughs> ar Arcana. 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 Or Arcana. history. Or history. Or history. Which one? I think I'm more Arcana. Mm -hmm. Yes. Seventeen. I'm rolling well. That scares me. <laughs> It's crazy. Someone's going to die tonight. Um, yeah. <laughs> so with your, your roll, um, you you have not like uh, met a lot of necromancer in in person, um, but like with your background and your organization and the follower of your your of your god. Uh, like you, you've heard a lot of stories about them. They are not all um, evil per se, um, but they kind of um, don't have the same moral as everybody else. So they kind of walk the line of using, because necromancy is not just raising the dead; it's also like, uh, uh, like. Transforming eating them? the body and stuff ah. like that, and uh, so so yeah, like y you don't have to be yeah. evil. I hate having a lot of wisdom. So so, so guys, what's what's your take on this? We trust. I we don't we, trust. I, we well, uh, the thing is this. Uh, if we think long term, he's a member of an organization we need to know about, right? Well, um, we can just sit we with him, him for it, and uh, we can make some questions. And after that, we go into the side. So at this point, he comes with like a, a cauldron of soup with a like a ball for himself. He doesn't oh have God, like so countries, but um, uh. he, if you have your own balls, you can chime in. He's offering you. It's not, it's not the best, but it's gonna fill you. Take you that know what? as we a token. We gotta have our own rations and. Uh... We took a vow of being vegans, and uh, yeah. you know we have a special diet. It's kind of a weird thing, but it, you're shitting me, right? A... But Kate, Kate is gonna try it. <laughs> Can I just take the bowl and I just uh, <laughs> smell and try to find uh, what yeah, is in the bowl? Make uh, I, I'm nature, gonna I'm gonna cast check. purification on my stew. I don't have that. <laughs> no, I don't have either. I just checked. <laughs> Nature is seven. Seven? Wait, can't can you... Smells like... Go, go, go on. Smells like uh, oat and potato and some form of meat. Can't really tell if there's poison or anything. Looking at it or... Um, Wait, 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 wait,
thinking about something. Just a second, guys. Just a second. I'm looking at what prestidigitation does. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I have something like it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't even know if it's there, uh, but just for the fun. So uh, like, he, he starts, like, he, he sits down, uh, like, around you guys, and he starts eating, and, like, he's just looking at you all looking at each other and looking at your stuff and not knowing what I, to do. I'm gonna take a seat and while I take a seat I draw a little uh, sigil on my uh, on my shield and I'm gonna cast absorb elements <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a a spoon of this too okay I'm gonna just take a, a spoon of that like whatever does I'm, anything I'm happen? I have resistance to poison anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have resistance to poison? Yeah. Uh, Don't you remember? Me? I have yeah. When was it? <gasps> I, it was, it was in the it chase. Was, yeah. It was that time where like, I, I you were piggyback. And I made the saving throw. It was like, oh, and I just burped in the mic like a yeah, but huge... Resistance. <laughs> Fucking no, I remember <laughs> that, but I don't remember you having resistance. Resistance make you yeah, roll, roll advantage. with advantage? Yeah. Ah, it's dwarven? I have, I have both resistance and advantage to saving throws against poison. Nice. And he's taking note of it. I don't like that. <laughs> he's like, he's looking at his books I'm... like, where? <laughs> Change anything poison to something else. I'm not eating. I'm not eating. I'm just eating my granola bar. <laughs> to convince me to, co to become vegan. <laughs> uh, do, do I die after my spoon or I'm still alive? It's, it's not the best, but like, it, it, it's the, like the texture is kind of like full of jelly and like, uh, like hey you guys let me let me and... fix that you know let me fix that and i'm i'm casting prestidigitation on the on this two the whole uh, the whole thing and i'm enhancing the taste of it so it tastes like fried chicken with sweet potatoes and some spices so I can. If and if we die, at least it's gonna taste good. Okay, good. Nice. <laughs> yep. Nice. It's nice. all about that. Mm. Including his bowl that he's currently eating, or no, 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 like... no, not individual bowls, just the whole thing. But he or he's I'm, already. And then I'm taking it. I'm just saying that he's already eating. So is it changing also oh. the bowl that he has? No, no, because it it's another separate object. So okay. uh, I'm like, what I would do is basically see, look at him, taste it, and like, I'm gonna make sure. And I'm casting the spell in the bowl and taking one one uh, serving, and make him like tasting it. Hmm. Is that okay? Is that better? And I make, I'm I'm making you like taste mine, try mine. And I'm making you try my bowl. All right. Uh, Complicated said, shit for a soup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, as soon yeah, as he I, that, um, I get, he, he takes the bite. Um, yeah, I mean, waste of magic. But better, it's huh? good. Waste of magic? What are you talking about? I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> he and like he kind of takes uh, a bit more in. Uh, in the, in the cauldron and mix it with what he already has. Not that bad after all. <clears throat> well, I'm going to take just one two bites and that's it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not hungry. <laughs> There's plenty. Um, not easy. Day. Oh, don't I worry. Missed the you role can play, let but... it for yourself. I'm or gonna later. say good night, market. What you guys knew he had kids? Oh, 
Yeah. Just kidding. Um. <laughs> so. So we are poisoned right now. Yeah, we're all poisoned. <laughs> Slowly, we die. <laughs> no, no, my, I'm like, it's fine. It's it was okay. And my old man. Okay. <laughs> I, you, you don't taste it, Kaden? I, I hate it all. <laughs> oh. Okay. I got no plan. <laughs> so, cost. Tell me. Yeah. Is it uh, good? Well, it, it has improved. It was a bit. Yeah. It was fine before, but now it's decent. Um, I don't congratulate myself with my cooking skills, so it's fine, as long as we have a hot meal. Yeah. So the recipe? Do you think that from uh, the cooking book you have on yourself, or? <laughs> Not a cooking book. I don't need a recipe for that shit. Fair enough. Fair enough. I indeed. just put whatever I have in the pot. How long? How long have you been here? Because you said you were, you intend to be like here for another three weeks. Yeah. I've been here for maybe two weeks already. Okay, your only purpose is discover what is in his tower. What? How do you know that this tower have uh, powers or something hidden? How do you know that? Well, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna share everything with you guys. Well, share what it's you can. Out of the I just found some interesting insight in some books. Okay, here there's some books. Not here. I found some books about this place. Oh, okay. Now I'm here. Uh, are you here on your own, own will or you're here for someone else? Yeah, you're like a contractor or something, or you work for uh, you am employed. Are you uh, a salary, a salar, salaried? How do you call that? A, sa <laughs> a sailor? A sailor? <laughs> Salary? I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm not employed, if that's what you're asking. You're but not employed. Not no. working for any organization. I mean, I'm not paid to be here that was your question I'm here but, for research but, but you you're here for... for an organization i mean your research is it for someone it's not for someone per se what i'm doing here but i mean better knowledge can be found with more people what are you gonna say uh Yes. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm looking at my notes at the same time. Um, He's got all the notes. But what are you guys doing here? I told you already. There's uh, some troubles at the mine. I mean, you're... you're you... There's something happening with the miners, and uh, we just came here to investigate. Kind of get rid of the problem as well. I see. Well, those are just rumors and scared little men. Okay, so you are not butter, butter someone. Inside check. Go for it. Where's my frickin' D20? Oh, no. With the others. Oh, this is... So, yours... What, what, we came here because the miners have problems with 19. undead. 19? 
E... E seems fort right. Hmm. Yeah, we've been told that they were undead here. So that's why we came here precisely. And then you have orcs problems. So everybody has kind of a problem with someone else. Some people said that they were having problem or you just heard rumors. Because I have real problem. With the orcs? Uh, My it friends here actually protect me from those orcs. It would have been rumors. Uh, I'm going to be... Uh... It was only rumors that we heard. Uh, just to know, where are these ores coming from? Hmm. It's hard to tell. Well, point in a direction. Um, he points in. And uh, let me know where the sun is and what time it is. So we'll know. We'll... <laughs> he points. What if he points... they come from where the sun don't shine? <laughs> These two is good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, they come from the north. Probably uh, somewhere around. The Wyvern Thorn. Have you guys heard of that? The Wyvern who? Wyvern Thorn. Is that a guy? Uh, Wyvern Thor. No, it's a place. Used to be filled with, with Wyvern. But they're long gone. But orcs have taken the caves and the place as their living quarters. They're most likely from there. <laughs> okay. At how many orcs did you see? Because, I mean, you said you had problems. It's not just... Have you fought with the orcs? Yeah. How many of A them? A couple of bands. Maybe four or five. Just, like, hunting parties. Comes across. They should know by now, they shouldn't trouble you. I mean, are you at war with them, or is it some skirmishes? Uh, there's a difference there. Do they want to take back that specific tower? No. I don't think that's that's why. I just think they're hunting in the vicinity, and then they just mess with me. Orcs being orcs. Did they ever came... Did they ever come close to, I mean, killing you? Uh, no. Thanks to my helpers. That's why I want to keep them or deal with the orcs. Do they have names? The orcs? No, your little helpers. Do you name them? Sometimes. They do, trust me, they do. This one's Gary. Hey, Gary. He just, he just points at it. It's just like walking up. <laughs> <laughs> You have no idea how I want to make jokes, <laughs> but my character cannot make jokes about it, and then I like it's tort. <laughs> okay, okay. Is it is it too Just much? Looking at Gary with a lot of uh, sadness and pity. 
Is it too so, much to ask? Um, who do you made the research for? Well, who's your uh, who's your guild, your cult, your thing? Well, it's a bit different in the air arcane world. I don't have a name, but I have partners in our research. So an organization. What is the name of this organization? I'm not gonna share that with you guys yet. I mean, we're basically working as partners for now, right? Well... So your partner is our partner. We are chatting. Are you, you have your point. So... If we find the name of this uh, wizard, you're going to share everything that you are hiding out right now? I mean, is that really the, what you are looking for? Is that really what interests you? My background? My friends? Who I deal with? I find that strange. But you have other stuff you want to know? I know a lot of things. Like what? Well, my, my understanding is you have partners and uh, you kind of want to partner with us. So we just want to know, you know, how, where, with who are we getting involved into? I mean, it could be a huge trap. You never know when you're going to fall into a trap. Right. Now that you bring that up. But I mean... <laughs> you... You guys just come here. For... To investigate. I tell you... That there's nothing... Like... Dangerous... Here. For the miners. That's what you and say. I mean, we got paid. Is. You got paid to come yeah. here? What do you think? We're doing this for free? Yes, actually. We never got paid. It was just a rumor. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Who? I actually don't remember. Me or him? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Four. Four. <laughs> he looks at you. He looks at Fern. Doesn't seem to be buying it. <laughs> and then get paid for this? No, we're not. You told me we, were, we told me we would have get paid. Wait, this way. Oh my god, I thought this was a job. We, we said earlier, well, is, you know. the only thing we had were rumors. Yeah, but I mean, investigating rumors is kind of a job. No, you investigate rumors to maybe find something worth oh, during those yeah. investigation, but there's nothing. Uh -huh. um, you said you know a lot of things. How do you feel about radishes? Radishes? Radishes, yeah. The vegetable? Yeah, that, that, that would be a radish, yeah. Uh, they, they tickle my tongue. Cool. Cool, cool. Nice, nice. Okay. You do know a lot of things. That was a... Weird question. It happens. Um, but on the other end of that spectrum... <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, do you know anything about conjuring banshees? I, I mean, conjuring. you spoke... Yeah, I mean, you spoke about the banshee. How do you... 
How do you call a banshee? Do you make a little I, dance and you do like, banshee, I uh, call you and uh, come forth? Is there a I way to... to... Uh, there's two things you can do. Well, there's one thing you can do. And the other way is more of luck. She's gonna appear if she wants to. The other thing is maybe having something that interests her. Dang. Like a heirloom, for example? That's oddly specific, but <laughs> I guess that would work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought so. I kind of, I am into undeads too, but just in a different way, you know. Yeah, you... I, just to be straight with you, because we have trust issues here. Um, I don't like people manipulating the souls of the dead. I like the dead to be able to move on and not come back as slaves or, you know, greedy wizards. I'm just being very transparent with you so that you don't think I'm gonna stab you in the back. Alright? I'm from the cleric clergy of Clem. I'm in the church of Clemvor. We don't like undeads, we don't like necromancers. There's nothing that says that we need to kill every single one of them. Alright? So, let's just say we find that banshee. If we don't, well, I mean. What do we do? You know? What do we do? You, it's all based on this answer that you need from us. What if we don't find it's it? What, like, you said, you just said if we have something that interests her or luck. I mean, we could insult her, maybe her family or her mom or something. She, she won't show up. We don't have anything here currently that she'd like. Yeah, I mean, I get your point. I get your cult or following. Mm. But from my point of view, they are dead. They are just a shell. There's yeah, no but soul. I have free will. You know what I mean? I have free will. I could do anything I want. I could get naked right here, right now if I want. Not please, I'm please don't. And when there's a nod then coming out the door, like the like Gary couldn't get naked if he wants. Once you just want to keep that as a freedom of will, get naked, whatever you want. I mean, jerk off if you need to. This is this, these are primary things in life. If they, you can't do that, you're not. You're just a slave. And that's my problem with that. He's not respecting yeah. the cycle of life. They cannot just move on What's with that? their happy afterlife or whatnot they already That's moved on there's no soul it's just a shell i just use what i find empty shell in the ground you know here's the thing that's not the case and uh i don't know if you know oh well tell me if i'm stepping out of bounds here because I'm just assuming I had some kind of knowledge for necromancy because like that's the first thing we we're against necromancy because of a reason, you know? So as a DM, you can tell me you wouldn't know that and I would stop it. All right, just to be clear. Yeah. Um, so back into character, you know, the thing with undead and I think you're just messing with me because to reanimate a corpse, you need to forcefully pull the soul back into their own body as slaves commanded by some kind of force. And that's where we have a problem with, because that soul cannot move on. Yeah, I see your point. Would but, you reconsider now? But in like, that uh, case, 
we could say that he, for a certain amount of time, he borrows the soul, but then eventually the soul is released after. Hey, kid, you have a lot of borrowed things? No. All right, never mind. You, you. I mean, it's like borrowing forcefully. You know what I mean? I can I borrow your mum, huh? Will you let me borrow your mum? So these bodies are from the cemetery in Conybury. It's like, uh, hey, tomorrow, can I borrow your? Your buddy for a while? No, uh, it, you That's can't upsetting. Know. That's just wrong, right? Well, that's the same fucking thing. Right? You don't have their consent. It's basically soul rape. Do... I, I suppose uh, zombies have the corpse of what was buried up to a certain point of decay, I guess. Yes. Uh, did I notice... One of the zombies that would have resembled, uh, I would say, young lady. I'm not quite sure, but like a female I zombie. Think... I don't know. Into one of those. Uh, yeah, there is some females. There is some male. Agatha is in there. Agatha is a zombie. Sorry. No, no, no. You recognize? No, no, no. Yeah. It, no? Because I'm thinking, if he raised those from Connie Barry, means uh, most likely one of them is the sister of uh, what's her face, a banshee. I don't know. A getter? Oh, it's a getter. Yeah. Who oh, knows? Maybe. Wait. Maybe one Maybe. of. No. The corpse wouldn't be one of them. Because she's still kind of bound to something else, I suppose. But if, if it's just a body, it can be Agatha is one of the zombies. I know, uh, Samad just said that the soul is inside. There's a soul? Yes. Or there... maybe it's not Agatha. Mm. Oh well. And. So... Uh, why are you guys so interested about Cunnyberry? Have you been? We might have made a detour in Cunnyberry to uh, put our cart in because we knew we couldn't like come here with the cart. It's obviously we cannot. So we got the cart to Cunnyberry. We parked it there. Did you see the banshee? Who has the most deception in the group? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to look at the others, getting a sign maybe. Gaming. Okay. I tried to see deception. Oh no. Somebody nods or not, <laughs> maybe. Well, we we heard uh, we heard some noises while we were camping out, but it was also raining, so it could have been the rain in the ruins. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> this is gonna be horrible. Uh, deception, deception, where is that thing? Uh, oh yeah, I got a 50%, not too bad. 10. 10? Yeah, 10. Um. You, you get the feeling that he's starting to uh, be wary of you guys. I mean, you're not telling us a lot of stuff. We don't tell you a lot of stuff. That's how these things work, right? We're sharing yeah. a meal. We know stuff. You know stuff. You know, we might tell each other half roots. How is that important to you? If you've been there or not? I mean, who says we met the Benchy? We saw a ghost. We saw a ghost. Is that a benchy? I don't know. But you just saw it. We saw I... a ghost. It's not there anymore. Was that a benchy? I don't fucking know. 
What's a I mean, banshee first? It's just that I mentioned Gunny Berry and the Banshee and my interest. And you guys tried to make it seem like you had no idea. We just didn't <laughs> make the link. I mean you're talking about a banshee. I'm thinking I'm thinking these weird stories of streaming ladies. We didn't meet a scary lady a screaming lady. We met we saw a ghost of a lady. Right. It did an R and five of it is zombie. Sorry? Is it beer? Has it been an R? Well, at this time he's not working on it. It's chat. He's chatting with you guys. You have to work. <laughs> but... Okay. If we want, okay. we can go back and just be sure, you know, trying to dig around for some uh, some trinkets or whatnot to see if uh, it brings her out. And see what's what, and bring back to you with a report of what's happening. If she's a banshee or a ghost, or a yeah, well, apparition, or a thing that we floats. We might have seen the banshee. It probably was her. Um, we just need to talk to her more. Uh, how do we do that? I don't know. We'll just mess up with her grave or something. Guess. Yeah. I, if she already appeared to you guys, your chances are very slim. Well, that was that was, That's why I was asking. What if she's not appearing? What if she's not there? Okay. Listen. You guys came here to investigate. I tell you, there is. Not much happening here, so. Or well, there is. We don't That's have to strike a bargain, or we don't have to work together. We can just go our separate way and do our own stuff. Well, if look, you want well, to do something for me, I told you about the Benchy or my orc problem. All right, fine. Fine, fine. We'll are they both the exclusive or they can be both? I mean, is it the Banshee or is it the Orcs? Or we can make a detour, see if there, we see a Banshee and go see if we see Orcs. I'm just well, saying. We, we, we surely can help you with the Orcs, but for a price. I doubt more in information than price. Can look at what I have, but well, we need information, and you are keeping a lot of information. So we can go for the orcs. You disappear all the zombies that bother the people around here, and you give us information. That's a big price. Well, I mean, you don't need the zombies. Or as much if there's no orcs. We're going to fight with orcs. That's a lot. Right. So you kill the orcs. Once that's done, I release my zombies. And if you want to know something, I can maybe research that. If you know what you want, mm -hmm. it's easy to say information. I'm not bound to tell you everything I know. Okay, that sounds fair. Yeah. So, tomorrow we're going to look for your orcs. That's right. So. I'm yeah. saying yes, and I'm I, not uh, asking everyone. Sure. I, I agree with the ore hunting as a... How can I say? As a first step towards earning your trust, we'll, we can take care of the orcs. 
then I have no love for orcs as well, so. What time is it? It's a very good question. Um, I think at this point it would be um, end of the afternoon. How long did it took to get here? Like uh, um, all morning? Basically, yeah. Wasn't it raining? Yeah, it was raining. What's the weather like? Um, is the wind howling? <laughs> well, in the mountains, there's always uh, more wind. Okay. Uh, but uh, it it's still raising, it raining, but it's uh, uh, just a drizzle at this point. Like, mm. It has calmed down. A uh, quick question, uh, cost. Do you know a f like a shortcut to get to Connyberry, or it's the only way is the way we came from? Uh, no, I think where you came from is the shortest way. Mm. Okay. Um. I, I um, you guys, you well. I'm trying to be like, I'm trying not to include cost into the discussion. You guys uh, feel comfortable sleeping here for the night, or you prefer? Oh, we don't have a choice. Well, we. We really, really, really don't have a choice. Okay. So I'm okay. gonna have a plan. So, Koss, uh, do you mind? Out of curiosity, can we go just check uh, the tower? Just for, since we're here, might as well just go check it out. Yeah, go for it. Oh, you guys uh, want to join me on the, on the tour? Yes, I, I want to go. Yeah. I want to see what is in the tower. I suggest you... you at this point, it goes back in uh, his tent. So tent. there is a, there is, there is more, there are more stairs, right? Stairs? There, well, there are floors to this tower? Uh, no. Well, I mean, it's okay. pretty much ruins at this point. Okay. But what tower are you it... using? Sorry. Me? Yeah. No, I'm just luring everyone inside the tower so we can discuss uh, without being uh, in. What is the plan? Yeah. Wouldn't that be outside? Because he's, he's inside the tower. No, he's in the tent. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, how about you uh, You make up for your deal and uh, drop those uh, half of undeads? Yeah. I'll see about that. Hey, it's it's your end of the bargain. We agreed with a deal. Yeah. So you get started on this. I will. <laughs> All right. I'm coming back. Good boy. Oops. Bye, Gary. Uh... Can I like move? Okay. This is not good music for D and D. Why is it there? Hey, it's good for uh, alien invasion. Told you. So, what's um, the, what's the like tabletop game that is in like sci-fi? Tabletop. No. Yeah. Sci-fi. Yeah. I don't know any. As far as yeah. I know, uh, different to uh, like D and D and that is uh, Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, and but I'm pretty sure there's one um, uh, more sci-fi. I don't sci remember. I don't know. 
So, so. Uh, before before I said uh, anything else, to be uh, or not to be. I I kind of look at Semat and I was wasn't unsure what is the actual plan here. Well, he doesn't want to tell about his organization, so I figured, eh, let's come. When it, definitely us sleeping here it gives us the advantage. Once he drop yeah. half of his zombies, if oh yeah, big if if he does it. Yeah, like, corner him, don't let him cast a single spell, jump him. I mean, we got the upper hand here. If we um, kill him, his zombie disappear? Or? That's my biggest bet. But at least he'll drop half of them. Mm. And we can run away from the others. We can take the book. But I yeah, if if he doesn't have the book, like to study it, each each day they have to study it. That's what I learned from my Arcana Arcana training. They they basically study their next spells for the next morning. So if he can't do that, he cannot cast the next morning. But we would have to like remove his book, and he would not have to notice and everything. That's complicated. We might as well jump in right now during his sleep. He, he confirmed it. It's not his cooking book he has on him. Okay, yes. Yeah, no, he has his grimoire. So, so the odds of being the grimoire is a bit higher now. Now that the cooking oh, yeah. is aside. It, it definitely is. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to dig uh, into my memory slash slash notes about... Do I recall uh, Bow Gentle if he built the tower or not? Or this is this information is classified. Bow Gentle? Bow Gentle, the mage. That would have been said by what's her face? Garel? Garel? Yeah, what's her text? Garel. Not exactly. Um... Mm? No? Make a history check. Yay! Yay. Oh my. I mean, so just to be clear, if a, a sleeping creature Wait. is unconscious, which means any critical, any attack has advantage and is a critical hit if with, made within five feet of the creature. That means backstabbing during your sleep is a critical hit. Automatic. Okay. I wonder who here has the ability to do a one strike burst damage while being yeah. sneaky. While being sneaky. So you want to go yeah, and make a sneaky. a red wedding? Doesn't have to be sneaky. He, the guy <laughs> knows that. Anyway, I'm out of character. Sorry. Uh, history, history would have been 11. Am I an historian? No. Um, 11. Uh, you haven't heard the name Bo Gentle before. Uh, no, no, no. I've what? heard Bo Gentle before. No, I mean, you, before Agatha told okay. you about it. You haven't heard the name before, so I have no clue um, if there's any link with uh, this place. I just know Bow Gentle is a mage. Okay. Okay. But it's a mage. And is, um, is the mage who won the, the book, that's right? Now, Bow Gentle was, as I remember, is the mage. Uh, no. The book we asked Agatha about was the book of Bowgentle. But okay. we don't know if he made the tower or not. We just know that it was his book. Okay, and that, that book was have... traded to a necromancer 100 years ago, Spearnot, from the city of Iriabor. Iriabor. 
Wow, that's lore and knowledge. Yeah. That, that's 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 really great. That's notes. <laughs> Yeah, GG, and, man. GG um, and I DM and I always scream at my players to take notes, and I don't even take them. I'm I suck. Do Do you I think? I took some notes. I took Bolton, shopkeeper, Sildor, two sons, Ender and Percival, Fandalin, <laughs> Harbin Wester, Townmaster, Gra Gara Hell, Priest of Luck, Lady. And Agatha is the name of the spirit that knows the spellbook's location. Bogentle, mage owner of the spellbook. And that's it. Oh, wait, yeah. Wave, Wave Echo Cave is a legendary cave. No, I noted some stuff. Oh, yeah, not yeah, yeah, notes. You, yeah, notes. Yeah, not pretty yeah, notes. Yeah. Uh, not good notes. Uh, uh, I'm, I have an idea. I really don't know if it could work. But we put the heirloom back in the grave of our sister. What if we take it out? Is it gonna summon the? That, that, yeah. that, I mean, that crossed Maybe. my mind. But she'll just attack us. She'll, she'll be, be pissed. pissed. Uh, okay. What if one yeah. of us takes it and just runs? Wait, you you actually want to do this, Aaron, with the guy? With the guy? I'm exploring all my. <laughs> I'm, no, right. I'm, we I'm just, just said, saying, let's just we kill him. Jump him? Should we jump yeah. him? No, that's a big question. <laughs> but that would mean we could get another uh, another question out of her. We could know who made the tower for our own personal notes. Well, you know what? I think that either we get attacked by a banshee or we attack a necromancer. I don't want Choose to your get, battle. I, I don't want to attack the necromancer. I you mean, don't you don't want to attack the necromancer? What what is he gonna do? Well, I don't like know. He, he's a spellcaster. He he he'll he'll just cast one thing out of us as long as we not clutch and we just surround him. Uh, if we take him in his sleep, I mean, <laughs> there's there's nothing there. The, the the zombies are out there. I mean, it's gonna be a, a matter of snap snap. Options. Okay. What, what what we know about this guy? Maybe nothing. He's, uh, uh, exactly. Maybe he is a really. Well, he's powerful. not wise. Let him well. in. Let, I mean, you don't let him let in a a, a, a cleric of Kelimbor as a necromancer. You don't invite that into your house, s sleeping with you. I mean, let's be careful here. Maybe he's wiser than we think. Maybe he's preparing for something. He definitely has a bad guy voice, huh? Did you notice that? Mm -mm. Like that that cannot be uh, that cannot he, be he does reason. sound evil. So I mean yeah. the Ben she was a lot really? more casual than that. I mean she was Yeah. Hello. This guy's <laughs> I mean he sounds like the zombies. If they could I, I talk. Th Tamara, you're the one who doesn't sleep. Yeah, I was reading that. <laughs> in my So since you're not sleeping, it's kind of an excuse to stay awake, you know? So will you just wait until he's asleep, you wake up little boy there, he does his thing, backstab E, you know, we jump him. Wait, who's so, not sleeping? Uh, uh, no, no, to kill this guy. Okay, we're going to Wait, wait, wait. Who's not sleeping? I've missed we, something. I have I have. I don't have to sleep, and I just have to meditate four hours a day. So I need four uh, hours. Less, so less you're less the less Witcher. Less. Nice. Sorry. I forget about that. <laughs> Let me meditate and replenish it... all my potions. <laughs> Toss a coin to Tamara. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> it's a. So... It's a trap. That you have? Oh, is well, it? Uh, yeah, it's a trait. I mean, it's a racial trait. It's racial profiling, true, and it's true. a bit racist, but she does have that trait. Yeah, the trait is said uh, you don't need to sleep, but meditate semi-consciously for four hours a day. While meditating, you can dream after fashion, ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh, and that four hours is the same thing that a human gets eight, eight hours of sleep. 
and that's it. Yeah. So I didn't know the last time we discussed about the hours we have to sleep for the long rest. Yeah, I forgot uh, actually to uh, look into that. Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, it's good. To, to... I, I I can just uh, yeah. take uh, take the watches. So really, we really, really, blah, blah, blah. we really going to kill this guy. Could be an accident too. Unless you have so something I'm... against it. Okay. Like you push him down the this well. Oh, I adjust my crossbow and <laughs> quiver shoot. Oh, no, you okay. you gotta stab him. You gotta stab him. You gotta stab because of the five feet rule. Him. Yeah. Like you need to be really within told. five feet. And for a critical hit, auto critical hit is only if it's five feet. What if we tried to do the same we did to the ogre? I mean, made, make a piñata. With what? crossbows. Oh, with crossbows. Uh, yeah, but he's a spellcaster, so that, that yeah. doesn't nullify it. He mm. could escape. Um, the, the idea is take the guy uh, sleep. I mean, it's yeah, easier. You have like okay. Do um, do we have to do it now? Well, uh, it because he has more time to prepare, so I guess it's tonight or like what are we gonna do tomorrow? I mean, yeah, but stay here is gonna be suspicious. Hear me mm -hmm. out, because I'm thinking probably since he has orc problems. When he's gonna move out, the orcs are just gonna expand their hunting territory. So eventually, they're gonna become a problem for for everyone. Fen yeah, Fen problems. I no, got it, undead problems. no, no, it's gonna be problems for Fendelin. So the yeah, orcs eventually can take care of that. Get, uh, do they? <laughs> oh, they got they got. They they had problems within their own town. Imagine yeah, if it's a problem that's point. come out of it. You might have a point, but see here the but, uh, the problem with me is the undead problem. I don't yeah, care uh, about I'm not done they with my idea. Go ahead. Take care of the orcs. Gain at least like a little bit of trust with uh, Kaust. And Kaust. when when he trusts us a little bit overnight. We take care of the zombie problem, aka Kaust. I yeah, uh, I I think it's good. Here's the thing: if he doesn't trust us, he could be planning against us. Yeah, but that's and then that's we would be at a real disadvantage. That's why I'm saying, taking care of the orcs is gonna win us a little bit of trust. Which if we're going to repay ever. by backstabbing him, but... If ever. He could be really, really planning for a scam, you know? He's, he, that guy is not good. We cannot trust him. I mean, he we're... will backstab us if he has a chance. I mean, we're okay. basically doing the same right now. Kill the, guy, kill the guy, and then we go into the orcs. Yeah. That's also an option. Yeah. Why not? If we don't fail here... So... I need to make sure he doesn't uh, make slaves out of dead people. Mm. So we take care of him overnight? Okay. If we can, mm. just be aware that he might be planning something else. Mm. As we are. Yeah. We, we just need to make sure if he doesn't drop any of his zombies, it's very, very bad. What is the plan B if we fail and uh, kill the guy when he is sleeping? There's there's no him? plan B. Plan A is kill the guy. Okay. Well, plan B is if he escapes. And if that's the case, we need to kill the undead. And... Uh, Afterwards, I mean, what are you going to do? Mm. 
Well, we're going to kill the guy. <laughs> uh, do I see anything inside the tower? Like, we can we feel something weird because Perception? he is uh, searching for something uh, wishy wishy. So I want to know if we feel something weird, something magic, or whatever. Uh, make your arcana check. Yay, arcana. Uh, 15, 14, my bad. 14 perception. Um, 14 arcana. So, in the tower that you are, um, there isn't much. Like, it, it's mainly rubbles. Uh, you, you see that there's kind of, like, butt mark, uh, like, maybe an archaeological site like you see that he, he's been like uh looking around digging a bit and like trying to uh like research whatever he's researching okay but you don't notice anything, anything else. else like no trap doors or something that leads below or no something magic and anything no okay uh, well, there is a strong, like, magic presence, um, but, like, you don't, um, you don't really pick up on anything, um. They're walking around the, the tower, that's, that's. <laughs> okay. Um. If we kill the guy, we can keep the, his book, right? So, uh. Semap can study the uh, the spells from the book. You can do it. Nah, that's not how it works. But I will definitely take the book and get it back to my order. So I'll keep it with them, uh, with me. Okay. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> just so to be clear, guys, guys. So what I'm raising my voice, saying just to be clear. We're going there tomorrow, and then we take care of the orcs, we come back, share our deals, and become friends. And then he can get back where he was after his research. Is that the deal? Uh, hey. while, while he says that, can I... L Is there any way I can look around for any zombies eavesdropping or cows precisely? I mean, is the wall... Uh, inside the tower like higher than i am or i can see a little bit so the, the tower itself yes uh it, it's too tall to see above okay um is there murder still, holes like the tower is still standing it's just like all the um like the the stairs doesn't go to the other floors um and like there's an entrance to it so you can see out like the door mm. but uh it, it wouldn't be possible for anyone to heave drop uh outside of the door basically um well make a perception check my god 11 I'm gonna retire that die. <laughs> nice gel. Hmm. Did you say how much you got? Eleven. Oh, okay. Um, Double win. You. You see uh, all the all the door. See, uh, you see some zombie passing by again outside the walls. Um, and uh cost is in his uh you assume is in his tent because that's where he went before you don't notice anything okay okay well i'm go i'm going to start to make him the the my tent well I'm going to stay here this night so. yeah I i'm gonna go tell cows to we're gonna sleep in the the tower if he doesn't mind Right. So you go to the tent? Yeah. 
You asked for him. Hey, Coust. Eh. He opens it. <laughs> the curtain. Yeah. Um, we're gonna... If you don't mind, we're gonna sleep in the tower tonight, and we're gonna end on out uh, north for the orcs tomorrow. Because at this point, I mean, it's almost dusk, and we're not gonna get far, so might as well sleep here and head on out tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Um, at, don't be at, scared, though. I have a routine at night. Some of the zombies are gonna come in the wall. Okay. Uh, hey, didn't we agree that we're gonna stay outside? Or do you need to come in? They could stab us in the back. You guys are in the tower. They won't go in the tower. I'm just saying that we agreed to remove them because you guys oh, yeah. wanted to come in. But at night, you're gonna come back in. Okay. Mm. Uh, Clever boy. <laughs> so the, you're saying the zombies are gonna come back in the tower while we're sleeping there? Not not in the tower. No. In yeah. the in the walls. The walls. Yeah. The, the, do you have the roll twenty? Yeah. In this, the uh... surrounding walls. Like the. Well, are you gonna summon apartment. someone in back? Yeah. Did you say it was taking? It took. It, it's going to take you a while to summon them, raise them. No, I mean, I said that I'm gonna drop some, but I'm still gonna get the remaining in oh, the yeah. walls. Okay, no problem with that. Like they're where they are now. No, they're outside of the wall. They're they are outside. So in the walls means in the tower, right? No. No. The tower is the round part. <laughs> He's gonna get them in here, that section, oh. not inside the tower. So, but the. Oh. It's a pumpkin. And one one other okay. question, uh, Kaust. Yeah. Uh, at what time do you serve breakfast? <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. Yeah. He goes back in the stuff. <laughs> How many times yet since you dropped your zombies there? Did you say that's going to be the half? Of How much time right? left for the zombies to drop? I'm very not comfortable knowing there's like 10 other zombies out there. Poor souls. Like Talk about the souls. Three, yeah. five of them. I'll get working on that. Alright, I'm gonna sit with you until you get it done. I need concentration. Oh, he's very quiet. I'm I'm, I'm coming in the, to the tent, and I'm good. Just gonna sit. What on the What floor. are you doing? I, I'm wa I'm watching you. You're not coming in my tent. And he pushed you back. Well, I I I need I need to make sure you're doing it. Yeah, you guys seems very insistent on that fact. Oh, I am, and you know why. So, think think about the souls. It's not done. You said an hour. Yeah, right. But I would. You guys keep talking. Uh, we're keep gonna stay in, silent. Interrupting. So okay, okay. Uh, you do that. You release the souls that are still trapped inside those zombies, and we'll do us, and we'll go prepare our stuff inside the tower. 
deal. So we're yeah. What? Put up, putting up tents, I guess. Right. I didn't hear what you said. Uh. We're putting up tents. Yeah. What I said was. Coust, coust. You start releasing some of the souls inside of those zombies. Or we won't disturb you anymore until breakfast tomorrow. And we'll go into the tower, just prepare our night and everything. Deal? Yeah. Good. Good evening. Just a, question, just a question. Why you need to bring uh, those zombies back in? That really disturbs me, man. Because <laughs> I have a routine. What's that? For my protection. You have to brush protection. their teeth? Where are your protection now? Right. Not inside, I guess. Clip thing in the But... You guys really thought that I would trust you like that for being my protection. What I mean? Look at my face. I'm super trustful. I thought when you had to deal, you keep them outside. It's really disturbing, yeah, but man. The more I talk to you, the less I trust you. Which means, good evening. Let's go, Samat. Let's go back in the tower. <laughs> So, from what we just uh, heard, there's probably going to be, like, we're going to have an opening during the evening, well, during the night. Yeah. Forget yeah. the sleeping. He, he cannot have all of his zombies inside the tent at the same time. I mean, they have to come in one at a time. Well, I, I'm just but guessing it, here. The, I don't really know. The thing is going so, to they're going to be watching us. Yeah, exactly. Is he is going to put all the zombies just around for nobody enter his tent? His tent. That's the thing he's going to do. So, is just a little the chance we have to take that guy in the night? Because I mean, or we have to kill all the zombies and. Maybe don't wake up, uh, cause forget that exactly. I, I, would, I would uh, either we gamble with a uh, a silent cade, and even then, he's going to be surrounded when he's tapped. So, I say we just we don't wait for the sleeping, if he drops the zombies, we jump him mm -hmm. when he least expect it, like at dinner or something. Could be. We already had well, dinner. We just had dinner, right? Yep. Like in the middle we of wait, the night. We wait a bit. Yeah, no, we wait. We wait a bit. After he uh, dropped the zombies, lets his guard down, we jump in. Mm. Okay. Can we do it? Maybe share a drink. Now? Like, well, he's got his uh, army wait. up. Yeah, we need to wait That's at least an hour so he drops them. Or that long ago. Or go. wait. wait. He's inside the go. tent. You go talk to him. He goes to his door. I can cut a hole in the tents and just backstab him while you talk to him. Ooh, a distraction. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, but uh, one thing is... You'll be alone with him in the tent. No, no, he's, he's going to... help. Yeah, but Cade's going to be in the tent, uh, but I'm going to be right outside the door. So right okay. beside Kaust. Yeah, but there's limited space in there. If he's out in the open here, it's better. We just, we just surround him. I. 
There's no advantage of taking him by surprise if he's not sleeping. I mean, might as well, well take him by surprise, everyone. Uh, right. yeah. We, we have to take him by surprise. We have, if we do it before he sleeps, which is he probably don't by what he says, we have to make sure that we get rid of him before the zombies can reach us. Sure. That's a cat. <laughs> Still don't. Well, we can keep with the plan. But uh, someone have to. Uh, I, would, give... I wish I was a bard. <laughs> um, I sleep. I get sleep. Yeah. I have. No. Anyone has sleep spell? No. Time to sleep. It's like the most powerful low level spell. I have a playing card set. <laughs> I have folk love. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Anyway>. yeah. <laughs> Your one. I can try to so lure him you out. You guys are setting up your tent and all that? And it while yep. talking about it, or you guys are still talking? Well, no, we're setting it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to make sure we don't look suspicious um, that much. I, I think there's no room out in, in the tower for everyone. Uh, for all your tents? Yeah. Uh, well, the, to the tower is kind of covered. Okay. So we don't really need the tent that much. Yeah. So, uh, we should probably, uh, make a fire. Don't know, but I don't see shite during the night. Um. Um. Tamara, you want to help fire, me do a fire? Fire, fire inside yep. would be weird. No, no, that, that's why I want to go ask, uh, ask Kaust, uh, where I could put the fire. Oh. To get him out of in his tent. Place? Yeah. yeah. Well, right here? I'm no, that's a well. Yeah. We, oh, that's we a well. That's a well. Uh, here. A well. No, I want to lure Kaust out of his tent by pretending I want to build a fire and ask him where I could put it. Okay. So we can all jump him at that time. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. We oh. need to wait. Good. We need to wait okay, until okay, he's okay. done dropping the zombies, though. Mhm. Mm so Kate is going to enter to his tent while we going to distract the guy. All right? They didn't like my plan. Hold on. No? Hold on. Okay. I'll do it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, we're going to do right, he's it. Gonna be fin <laughs> he's going to be finished with dropping the zombies. He's going to come and tell us. We're going to, like, just make casual conversation, have a drink or something around the campfire, yeah. and then jump. Give me two seconds. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's take a break then. Okay. Since we're at let's it. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Break time. Let's boogie. All right, so we say, how about we build a fire with the fire? You build it here? I don't know. Where do we build it? Like, uh, do I have a fire? Here, maybe? Yeah, there's a fireplace and you, so I it's found a fire, a free fireplace. It's not a oh, fireplace. Kevin, I, it's, um, it's a well. I downloaded a bunch of uh, assets that you you might that you might be interested in. Uh, I'll send it to you yeah. later to that game. Cool. Here I I found a quick one that looks a bit like fire. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we're going to breed that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Looks like a fire, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. All right, so you guys are building your fire, uh, getting cell down. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, about an hour pass. Um, and Cos uh, comes out of his tent. Hey, you guys built the fire. Good. Uh, when are you guys going to sleep? What, you, you can't wait for us to go to sleep? Can we enjoy drink? Getting to know each other? <laughs> I'm just asking. Don't know. What oh, time is it? Drop, did you drop those zombies yet? I dropped two. You two? said five. Right. Start it with two. To see how it's going to go. What? What? Well, normally I always play a couple... Uh... A little bit of dragon chess before I go to sleep. So, dragon chess. I don't know. Dragon I don't know chess. I have it in my tools. I don't know what it is, but I have it in my tools. I guess it's chess. It means it's chess, but probably with dragon pieces. Must be badass chess. I want to know what it looks like. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Or maybe it says chess. Oh. Oh yeah, normally I play a little bit of dragon chess. Um you know, relax and get ready to go to sleep. Do you play Kaust? Well, I take it very personally that you didn't drop as expected. I I'm quite offended by that. And I'm I'm like I'm where is he? I'm ready. <laughs> Uh, he would be just out outside his tent. Just came out. Yeah, okay, so I'm I'm going I'm 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 going like a, around here just to see where are they? Where are the corpses? Uh, they they must be around. I want to see them. Inside check. Go for it. No, because I don't think he's going to come to So I'm going to uh. go here. If it's okay. Six. <laughs> Hard to tell. <laughs> what, you rolled a four? Yeah. Ugh. Um. So... The, the, well, roll a perception check. For me? Yeah. Uh, did, yeah, sorry. 16. Um, from where you are, you see that, uh, this guy, uh, is underground, not moving. Is it Gary? <laughs> Is it Gary? <laughs> <laughs> but on the ground, not moving. Oh, do we know he's dead? Um, so you like he did not. I, well, I, I guess that's fine. You want to come with us? Share a drink? Something? Yeah. You guys have drinks? Oh yeah. We have drinks? Yeah, it's part of the rations. It, it, there's drinks in it. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and I'll... Um, the stream, I'll, I'll use the stream water and I'll just... Uh, I'll just... 
The stream. Oh. Mm. I'll, I'll uh, use prestigitation to seem like it's an alcoholic beverage, and then I'll share it back. Just pour it in whatever glasses. Are you, are you poisoning us? I'm making it taste better. Mmm. Does it actually create alcohol, or it's just? No, um... no, no. It's just it tastes like alcohol. So maybe with a little uh, placebo, someone could get fake drunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Do you pass that around? Yeah. Well, I serve everyone. It tastes okay. like wine, actually. Good. Oh, this is strong. Mm. That's how we do it. Don't don't take too much. So... You know how you get when you get too many. What, okay. What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Kaust. Kaust. So, uh, Cow, you, uh, <laughs> been a necromancer long? I mean, I've been a pirate once. If it can, I can share a bit. It was a pirate crew, so, uh, we're not everyone here is, uh, a saint, you know? We all got a dark past. For some of us. How about you? Uh, well, my line of work requires a lot of experience and research, so I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. How about your parents? You got any? Yeah. I guess it wasn't uh, really well perceived to see uh, your son get into, you know, reanimating the dead. I know. People are not always understanding. What do you mean? About my line of work. They don't really you got... understand why. And why, why are you doing, doing this? it? Tell me. I, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm an understandable guy. We just like make friends with the goblins, so. and I hate goblins. Just to be fair, I hate necromancers my just as much. So I, I mean. Uh, Everything can be done. Just want to get to know you. There is a lot of power. You can do grand things. Right now, it's only corpse walking. But you can go far beyond that. Like reanimating, uh, a tree? No. Bringing someone from the dead. Sorry, you cut out. Mm. Bringing, bringing someone from the dead. You mean resurrection? <laughs> In part, yes. Or you you want to bring someone in particular back? Maybe. Family? Yeah, I get that. Out, out of the... Say... Go, go on. Go ahead, go ahead. Out of curiosity, you said you were doing that for a long time. How old are you? Forty-two. Inside check. <laughs> well, you don't look over twenty. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> Go for it. Please, please, please. Uh, 
12. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he doesn't look young, he doesn't look old. It makes sense, and from what you read, uh, don't really notice anything mm. I would say otherwise, so, yeah. Okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna chug my 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 uh, my glass, put it down, and say, "Well, it was nice getting to know you. I understand how you feel, and I'm um, um, I'm gonna I'm whack gonna him with my hammer. Just uh, <laughs> let me. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. Let, let let me create more of that, and I'm gonna like." Cast inflict wounds, <laughs> but like, like looking at my jar, and then I'm going to, like, get my like to touch his shoulder in compassion, <laughs> just to like understand right. what you mean, like, and then burn him. <laughs> <laughs> Roll That's... for that. <laughs> oh. uh, it's going down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So inflict wounds first level. That's when we all die. Mm. Hmm. Because he's a level mm. 18 necromancer. Mm. <laughs> we are fucked would up. it would it be? I'm stressed. <laughs> 19. 19 hits. <laughs> These are the best moments of the end. Oh, shit. When you have a drink with someone, then inflict wounds right after. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. Let me touch you. The drink hits hard. So 12 plus 15, 27 uh, necrotic damage. God damn. And with that, I'm summoning my Sorry? spiritual weapon. I realized that... The I, I, didn't, I didn't hear how much you made. 27. 27? Yeah. 4d10. It's not... Wait, Necrotic damage. What? Four? And I'm as a to bonus action. What? <gasps> you kill him! <laughs> <laughs> like, you see that Semat is truly like, he doesn't like, how can I say? He's really empathizing. He's really like, I understand what you mean. And he puts a hand on his shoulder and you see like, he doesn't like what he's doing. It doesn't really, he doesn't do it with it, with pure aggressivity or, or, or hatred. He's really compassionate about it. He's, he's like putting a hand and you see basically all the veins and the, the dark, necrotic energy coming through him and just come kind of with a with a just a surprised expression and like like i was ex like of the of the of this mate uh, uh, car karst coast 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 so the, the just surprised expression of coast and like i knew it but just just how could you, you know, that kind of thing. And, and the Semat is really, truly, truly, truly sorry about what he's doing. <laughs> and he knows it's a necessity. So he's... It's the lesser just evil. Blasting him, just blasting him. And you see, like, dark liquid coming out of his ears. It's it's kind of really, really, really... Uh, uh, it, it's weird to see, man. It's kind of a loving, dark shit. <laughs> I, I've missed the parts. He's dead. Like, he he's better. 
Like, huh. I don't like doing this to you more than, like, how, how did it, like, the parents would be the children kind of thing, you know? <laughs> I don't like it more than you do, you kind, of, kind of expression, you know? It's hurt me more than me than you. Yeah, kind of thing, yeah. Oh. And, uh, and he's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, she just lets him down and... I'm <laughs> looking at outside. <laughs> like, I'm expecting them to drop. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead, I guess. He is. Yeah, 27 <laughs> damage is... Fucking lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, he... for, for a mage, like... Uh, so yeah, he's dead, and uh, you see Gary fall on the ground. Gary! Also, um, no. Sorry, Gary. You, are, you, you assume all the you other see ones the eyes are of also... Samad, who's totally black and luscious comes to normal again. You, you must, like, I don't know if you have high perception, but those who have high per passive perception could maybe see the just eyes staring a bit. And, I'm uh, going to look and I'm just going to... <laughs> nope, I just, I just saw a guy die in front of me. Never noticed he, it was you. Well, uh... <laughs> Uh, I guess, uh, I guess that's it, huh? <laughs> Here's the book! And you uh, were afraid! <laughs> you, you were afraid! I'm I was thinking back the guy just... was so powerful and everything. You see this thing just Maybe full of Maybe he was. Trouble. That was quick. Yeah. See? Poor guy. That, that's well... what she said. Mm. <laughs> that's what he said. Mm. So are do we see zombies still roaming around or are they falling now? They they are falling. Okay. So alright. I got the job to do. So I'm burping and let, let us know if you uh into burial uh, stuff. <laughs> you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. Going to <laughs> every... and okay. Oh yeah, and every one of them is called Gary. Nice. <laughs> Gary one, A Gary prayer one. for Garys. Gary I'm gonna bury the Garys. <laughs> I'm gonna Sounds go like check into his tent. What's happening? We're going to loot. 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 No, I, I just said chank. Into his tent. Yeah, we should check on him too. On this. Yeah. Alright. Um, you are... You are searching his body or... Because uh, Samad is, uh, is at the moment like gathering the body. Does that include cost? Cost? Uh, the necromancer. Oh, um, no. Well, it's... I know they're gonna do. Like, basically, I'm against pillaging dead bodies right now, but I kind of know where they're gonna do, but I don't want to be there when they do it, so I'm taking care of the bodies outside. So, yes! Okay. Um, so, on him. Uh, roll an investigation check. Do I roll tomorrow? Or do you roll or I help you? I lift his legs, you look under, or... Uh, I'm going... I can roll with advantage. Uh, if Fern is helping you, yes. Yeah, I'm helping. Okay. okay. Mages have as high CR and very low HP. In it's total crazy 20. CR. With advantage. What CR? is CR? Challenge, ra ch challenge rating. So you could have a challenge rating 4 with like 50 HP. It's quite a... a CR 4 is quite a, a level of challenge that is high. But soloing a mage is not a huge deal. Unless high level they can teleport and whatnot and become invisible and then it becomes a pain. Um, but Samad doesn't know that. <laughs> Apparently. 
Um, so how much did you say? 20. So um, on himself, he has uh, his book and uh, a bone tube. A bone what? Tube. Okay. Wow. Okay. I just go check inside a tent tomorrow. You want to join us, Cade? Yep. Rip Gary. <laughs> Gary with that I E S? With Gary. Gary. <laughs> Yeah, but since it's an, a name, you don't really... <laughs> okay, let's go loot the tent. <laughs> you write that with, like, uh, their cup, corpse, on the ground? Yep. <laughs> I would love to, but I can't. I'm a fucking cleric. <laughs> I would uh, love to be a bard, man. I want to be a bard. Can I change my character? Sure, you just have Kill to it. die. <laughs> I want to... That, uh, that, that's what he was I, trying to I, do. I, I want high bella fire. <laughs> I want that character. What? Hmm? The bard I made for the... Uh... Anyway, sorry. sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're playing. Was, so, uh, Kate, Kate, did you yeah. join us in the tent? Yeah, party. Let's go in the tent. Party. Party. Let's show the tent. Yep, let's check in the tent. Search for money. Um, so you hear outside. Happy I'm just yep. doing it until Kevin speaks. It's really happy. <laughs> what I mean. I, um, I, you guys are investigating? Yep, investigating the, the, tent. the tent. Yeah. Who is? I'm helping Tamara. Yay. Go for it. Go for an investigation. Mm. 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 <laughs> what the fuck? This guy. It's a lot different than last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it makes like a world of difference. Nine, twelve. It, 12 oh. with did you roll yeah, with the uh, advantage uh, yeah with advantage Ugh. sorry guys okay kate is doing the investigation how much <laughs> how much okay, okay. Uh, it was 12. Uh, 12. yeah well um so you find uh there is a chest in the chest there's a leather bag and in it there is uh, 35 silver piece, 20 electron pieces, 20 gold pieces. Electron? Electron. Oh my god, we're playing with that shit? How, many, how much well, is I mean, it? It's uh, like 5 silver. Yeah, uh, so, uh, just, I'm going to make you repeat anyway. Um, in the leather bag, there is what? 20 electron, 20 gold, and... 35 silver and 5 platinum. A 25 silver? 35 silver, 20 electron, 20 gold, and 5 platinum. Oh, okay. And 1 pearl. Ooh. Is it a black pearl? Is it pearl jam? <laughs> <laughs> um, you also find a potion of healing. Yeah. Stuck in the yeah. chest. Um, and there is also a tiny jewel, jewel, jewel box. Jewel box. Jewel box. A tiny box of me. Uh, what's, what's inside the wow. jewel box? 
I don't know. Are you opening it? Opening mm. it? Oh! Open it. Oh, it, uh, and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> sure. She opens it. I back out. All right. Well, she did. There yeah. is a uh, there is a ring inside the box. A ring. I want to inspect the ring if he have a name or something. If you put it in fire, is there like something happening with the ring? Try it. Nice. Just try putting. <laughs> I just going to just, the just look at the ring. ring. You don't have to put it in a fire. Uh, you, so you're in investigating the ring? Yeah. Go for it. It's... What is it called again? Like, attunement? 18. 18. Um, there are runes on it. It yeah. seems mm -hmm. magical. It's the one true ring. <laughs> It doesn't need to be put in the fire. Okay. Uh. Maybe it's some ring of protection or something. Maybe it's a ring of invisibility. Maybe. Uh, Tamara, do you mind if I um, inspect the ring? Yeah. As I remember, I can do that. I can attune the ring. So I kind of know what it's gonna be after a certain time. Samat, yeah. can you back no, me out on not, that? I'm you not there. No, no, but not. Oh, sorry, uh, not Samat. You don't I'm need calling. You don't need att attunement. You need oh, to sorry. spend a short. You need to spend a short rest uh, inspecting it <laughs> to understand what it does. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go in a corner. With my ring, and they're like, no, plus, plus. <laughs> for about an hour, right. uh, short, yeah, That's short rest. Yeah, no, plus, plus. Good. Anyone else do anything while Samat and Fern are doing their weird thing? Well, the thing in the middle oh, well. of the place is a well. Yes. <laughs> can we look into it? We can absolutely do. Please jump in. Please jump in. <laughs> no, I'm gonna look before. Tamara, kick him in. <clears throat> what is it? Uh, like investigation? It. A little big tentacle. On n'a jamais croisé ce gros puits avec les tentacules. The uh, hell? <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, yeah. From looking at it, you can't see uh, at the bottom. Um, can or can't? The, the can't. Okay. But uh, the 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 water seems very fresh and like very clean. That's pretty much all you can glance out of it. It's a well. Okay. Ordinarily well. Well, I'm going to pull my... Um, my... How do you call it? Hello? The Wait, thing when you... An issue. I can hear you guys. Again? Oh, wow. Again? Uh, while while Lee's uh, sorting part. that out... Uh, Tamara? Yeah. Uh, you have all the the gold we've looted. Yeah. Because uh, for some reason I it? I had a or just count it and say how much we have each. Because I had a major brain farts each time okay. we were like saying which one what was it was. So I have a bunch of numbers, but I don't know what it is. So. Okay, is thirty-five silver gold? No, no, just. Yeah. You can count it and just say uh, how much we have each after. Uh, I trust you. Girl. Trust you with your <laughs> with the money. Okay, I'm going to do it. But uh, I mean, you're better doing that. Anyway, I uh, I'm in my corner. The ring. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to make the mat. What is this thing? Pearl, pearl. 
So or there something? is a an equipment you can add whatever kind of um Okay. Okay. Hmm? We can add you can kind of know what you already have. Hit clear. Add whatever you need. And you divide each by four. I'm back. Welcome back. Hello. Hey, back down back at Pearl. Yeah, Phasmophobia um, has a lot of sound issues. That's a problem with it. It's Discord. It's Discord, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're all playing Phasmophobia. Should we do it on Zoom next time? Or another platform than Discord? Because I have so no. much issues with Discord. We have so much issues with Discord all the time. Good question. I don't mind. How is the music going to work, though? I guess same thing. I don't know. Well, it's not a deal breaker for me. I was just thinking out loud. I don't mind. I don't mind. I Maybe had it, the it. pearl and the potion of healing, so don't do it. I have them. Is the leather yeah, bag actually good? Like, is it worth anything or just? Did we it's just kill an important standard. NPC? I don't like yep. killing before being attacked, but hey, the guy was being <laughs> a jerk. <laughs> Says the guys who one shot him. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so what are you guys doing now? I'm count. I'm counting the money. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, are you doing uh, I'm enjoying well, the if fire. I'm fi if I'm finished, I'm gonna be just staring at the fire and. Uh... Yeah. Enjoying the fact we're alive. <laughs> oh man, I'm out of there. Like, I'm sure, like, Semats is, is just staring the fire and drinking his fake drinks. Mm. <laughs> it's getting drunk on water that tastes like alcohol. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Next to the corpse of Ghost? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next to the fire like <laughs> all the veins on him. <laughs> dark in his face and <laughs> the face I can, I can imagine Samat <laughs> sometimes talk to him while he's fake drunk <laughs> you gotta know man what I did it I had no <laughs> choice <laughs> the course just like Sure. <laughs> <laughs> still, st still sitting, just like frozen. All oh, right. So, uh, Fern, you finish your uh, short rest. Yep. Um, the ring is actually a ring of protection. Yeah. You get more, the feeling more that. AC. What, what does it do? Wearing this ring would make you more... Resistant. Plus one to AC. God damn. I would re reach 19 with that. So guys, um, while I was sitting um, by myself playing with my mm -hmm. my ring, um, it's a, actually it's a ring of protection. So if you wear the ring, it's going to protect you from, from what oh. from physical damage ish from being oh, I'm pretty vulnerable so uh, maybe until I have it played or something I'm, I, I'm interested what I'm saying is what's, I'm, what's I, this what I'm saying is I'm interested hmm <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Well, I... I guess maybe the, the kid, too, would need one. I personally don't really need it. But, uh... 
I would see I would see uh, either Tamara or Simat since you're normally you're a bit more in the fray with me and Kate is somewhere like For they're fight, shooting uh, if the ring uh, if uh, Semat keeps with the ring well I never get hit so mm, rarely <laughs> never fair mm. so Semat I'll I give you it. the ring of protection. I don't just don't but, tell me you found where you found it, right? But but uh, I'm taking it. I found it in a uh, rubbles. Thank but you. but I'm trying. I, I hold it like. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do an insight check for that. I'm Fine. Really <laughs> <laughs> I bet yes. And I give it to him. He says it in role play. <laughs> 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 With the Frodo face, at uh, the Bilbo face, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you try to put it on. Right. It's too small for your big fingers. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> I was. I was okay. Okay. I okay. Uh, find shot, this. Okay. You 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 need to find uh, a blacksmith and make it. Uh, Bigger. It's not self-adjusting? Come on, what is that ring? All right, so... um. So you guys bed down for the night? Yeah. Oh, it's AC and saving throws. Interesting. Yep. Before we're going to sleep, I'm going to give you guys the gold. So each one have seven golds. Five electrum, a uh, one uh, platinum. Sorry, sorry. Can you start again? Okay, seven gold. How much gold? Seven, seven. gold. Okay, yeah. Each one. Five electrum. Five one platinum. platinum. One, one se platinum. seven platinum or five platinum? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, we keep going. Seven gold. <laughs> five electrum. Mm -hmm. One platinum, mm -hmm. five silver, uh, oh no, eight silver pieces, mm -hmm. and uh, seven uh, copper, copper, copper. All right, mm -hmm. So five electrum copper. is twenty-five silver. I'm going to convert that right away, if it's okay with the DM. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How can you convert yeah. it like that? Are you a banker? Well, Is it because you're a dwarf? Of, it's just uh, instead of adding eight silver, I, I add 33 silver. Yeah, you're, you're just okay. keeping count of your total is fine by me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going so to making change is the worst part of the end. We can game. just assume that when you, when, you, when you get to a town, uh, you try to use your money, like the small ones and all that. Like, we're just assume that you, you guys are kind of out of the, uh, out of the game, uh, making sure you have the right okay. type. All right. Uh, who wants to get the first watch? Well, I think we're going to end it up for tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I think it's a good... Okay. Uh, good spot to leave it. We made up you for last sure? Time, I think. Unless we spend the night and we restart fresh in the morning. What if there's something in the night? Maybe. Dun, dun, dun. We we are stopping here. Okay, okay. <laughs> DM has <Okay>. poking. <laughs> oh. It's all uh, good. I'd love to make you guys play after that. That was nice. After after uh, the whole campaign, you mean, or uh, well, when you're done, <laughs> yeah. whenever you're done, when I get tired of that shit. So by 2022, or at some sure. point, I know the holidays. You, if Kevin, you want to play, uh, if you want to try playing, uh, maybe yeah. a one shot could be good during the holidays. Yeah, that Christmas would be one awesome. Shot. Yes, Christmas the one shot. Good job, guys. I, w I was not expecting that. Uh, 
turn of events. In, in man, that inflict wounds, in man. Wound is crazy. You did inflict add wounds my... first level. It was first level three d eight. Four d ten. Wow. Four d ten. I thought 4D10. it was three. Four. It's three at at. Oh no! Sorry. Second level is four d ten. That's what I did. Okay. So you did it at second level. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's confusing because it's kind of on my sheet when I'm scrolling down to t second level, it says first right at the top of the bottom cast, you know? So that's why I said first, but it's actually second level. Yeah. Yeah, man. Was this, it's because it's a touch spell and a touch spell is a spell melee attack and it's not the best. You know, you're, ah. you're better off casting with uh, with uh, saving throws. Yeah. With the, no, the, the target weakness and stuff. So yeah. it's just because I had advantage. I was not even able to get Talon out. Talon! What is that? <laughs> that is actually, <laughs> it's... Uh, you really got it. Yes, no. it's no, no. Dart. Yeah, uh, Dart? Yeah, it's Dart no. from Lord of the Rings. It's right? not Sting? <laughs> Pretty sure it's Sting. Let us see. Google. It, it's, it's Dart. It's Dart? Okay. Yeah. I always thought it was Sting. Or what? maybe Sting is in French. That's what maybe, I remember. Yeah, yeah maybe. But it's yes. A it's a da. It's Dart from uh, Lord of the Ring. Throw the bag and Dart Sword. But I've had it for uh, years, actually. So. <laughs> it just I got it out you of the closet. You know how much XP you made? Yay! <laughs> With that one kill. Does well, actually, all the, the zombie count counts? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we did Sorry? kill 10 zombies after all. <laughs> yeah. Um, Was that a yeah, actually, like, yes last, or no? Last, last time you... Um, and a banshee. Got, yeah. So last time with the banshee was 200 XP uh, that... We didn't count and uh for the whole encounter uh this time it's uh 100 xp so in total 300 so but that's 300 uh, you're saying that for the whole party or yes the the whole party is a thousand xp so okay 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 divided by four uh, 300 each one no um that if they said a thousand XP, that means it's two hundred and fifty XP each. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yep. Okay. For both, for uh, bo last session is tonight. Yes. It's had two fifty. Yay! Uh, question: Would it be easier if you do it, uh, like with milestones or with XP? Out of curiosity. Um, I don't know. You guys are not making any progress. Well, hey, if... we're doing side quests. We hey, come on. I know. Side quests. It's a milestone no, when I, you, I you beat a bench here? But, um, no, it's not. Uh, I think, no, I think it's easier to uh, track it with XP. Wait, what? Why is my that depends because... and for you guys? Because otherwise, like, uh, it would it would be hard for me to really put a point on where I should level you guys. Uh, but you guys going around and fighting stuff and like leveling up, then it gives you uh, a bit yeah. of an advantage. In my games, I put milestones because it's less math and headaches for me to find XP. And uh, let's bargain with the players, you know, with the RP sessions, calculating our calculating XP from RP is really, really a pain. 
Um, so that's why I put I put up with milestones, but I discussed it with my players first. And, yeah, uh, I, I mean, if know, it was my own camp campaign, uh, that's different. I, I I would probably go with milestone too. Yeah, that's completely different. How much XP do you have each? Question, question. Mm, four I, I'm, I'm, I'm leveling with you guys. That's what I, we said. Are we at two thousand? Yes. Because I think I. I thought I applied it, but it seems I didn't. From from our, what I recall, okay. the last time we talked about it was one person calculates the XP, and everyone has the same XP, and we level up at the same time. Yeah, we're at two thousand. Yeah. It still didn't because update right, on my character right sheet. Right now, I am I am in one thousand nine hundred fifteen. So <laughs> you're missing like seventy five somewhere. All right. Yeah. Fifteen. Okay, I'm going to just put up the other fifteen. Fifty. Sorry. No, it's your penalty for joining uh, late. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We're missing seven hundred for next level. Seven hundred. Nice. Yeah. Okay, my XP There's doesn't want to apply, but it's fine. Yeah. So strong. Yes. Yeah, my the, the question is here. So we got rid of kind of 10 undeads, 10 zombies, and one necromancer. So would that be the same if we fought those? Uh, yes. Okay. So no matter... this is Okay, okay, I love it. I love it. Thank you. Because it doesn't bias us into killing everything and becoming murder hobos. Exactly. How much does the town of Fandolin is worth in XP? <laughs> <laughs> That's the path that you want to go. If you want to take a whole new evil path, then it's a lot of XP. <laughs> Just, that's what I was asking. <laughs> but no, no. Is there an evil path uh, written down in the uh, in their campaign? No, I would have to come up with one. Oh God! Mm. So the, e the so the campaign assumes that we are good guys and we're yeah yeah it's because yep. it's pre-made characters. Well, I guess when when you begin as uh, to, to to play D and D, you want to be a good guy. I guess it's down the road you go you go like ha yeah. <laughs> Let's just go rampage <laughs> through the countryside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a well, lot of memes about it, especially with Matt Mercer in it. <laughs> really? I haven't yeah. seen those. Oh yeah, like first time you create a character, it's always like the good guy and stuff like that. And you see like Matt Mercer, like all happy, and then you get this Matt Mercer uh, face where he's he's a bit like twisted like this. And then you know the second character, second time you make a character, and third time you make a character, see he, he's like a, an evil goblin in the carousel, like <laughs> like just. <laughs> <laughs> it's out there, you know. Yeah. But it's it's tricky that that uh, alignment and then alignment thing with like the DM. If the whole yeah. party is not aligned, then it becomes just ca chaos. Because like the evil guys wants to do evil stuff, and the good guys want to do uh, yeah, but good you stuff. Let, you let them do what they want to do, but at some point you're like, okay, at this point you can't be with the party anymore. It doesn't make sense. You got to sit with them and just, hey, how about you become an NPC? You become a villain of the story, you know, and you got to make a new character. But you cho you've chosen yeah. that path. Uh, they did that in Critical Role when at some point, I'm not no sure spoilers. if we should spoil it, but, you know, <laughs> Caleb, Caleb is, is an unstable guy and he had a choice at some point. He said... I know that if I was going to choose the evil path, I would become an NPC and a villain in the story. So you just need to assume that and just get into agreement with the whole party. Just, hey, we're basically good guys, right? So, it, and it, it's RPing that. There's just the whole basically. party moving towards, yeah. To some gray areas. The same direction. So if the whole party but, uh, decides to become evil, it's, it's a group decision. So it's good. So it's, it's okay. 
<laughs> but if it's just one guy doing being a douche, I mean, you got to sit with him and just, hey, you're being yeah. a douche. By the way, you're not. You know, here's your alignment. You're an evil guy. <laughs> like, I announce you. You are evil. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> Redeem yourself or keep down that path? Because you might become an NPC. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's yeah, like that's good. it's like right now. I don't want to spoiler to anybody the campaign, but. Um, uh, was uh, uh, Mo Molly Mock uh, die in in campaign two? Hey, uh, who? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, I think there's only Kevin yeah, listening to K Critical Role, right? No, I am no, as well. Max is too. Yeah. Max is too. As well? No, I don't. No, no, no Max is the only one that doesn't. Oh, oh. Yeah. So Alex, you're listening to it? Yeah, Matt, uh, oh. episode thirty-seven, I think. Okay. Molly Mock has okay, died, yeah. by the way. He, he just died. Too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I wasn't well, sure. I'm not going to tell you anymore because I I, I am a uh, update. I am the, in, in the last. Uh, in the, really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so, I, I just listened to 112. Oh, so I'm not going to. I'm going to stop here. <laughs> I'm like at, I'm like at 81. Okay. Jeez. You yeah. really put up speed there, and you're listening. Yeah, I, I, I see. Um, I see all the episodes re really, really quick with the with the resumes. I think they they make. Oh, okay. And I start. That's called uh, cheating. But what? I listen to them <laughs> on five times the speed. The episode goes quickly. <laughs> and I. Uh, nah. No, that's a joke. No, no, I don't. That would be very, very hard to follow. <laughs> well, I did put a link uh, in the chat with the, the moment where Jester talks to grass. And it's oh. the most beautiful moment ever. <laughs> she talks to, to grass, grass and everything. And like Matt Mercer's playing just grass. <laughs> she's Henry, talking, Henry she's Henry using the spell. Yeah, she's using the spell talk, talk with plants, speak with plants. And, and and she speaks with the grass. <laughs> she with the crab grass. Crab grass. Wow. And Matt Mercer's <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> you should you, you need to listen to that. It's it's kind of minor spoilery, but it's I like I said, it's worth it, man. That's why the end exists. I mean I was I was walking outside this this at lunchtime and I was laughing my heart out just alone in the street because I heard I was hearing that it's really really funny. This happens a lot to me. I'm always walking usually when I listen to it, and like <laughs> I often just I'm walking with with Sammy and I just have a, a big smile in my face. So I don't know like people just <laughs> passing by it in their car what they think <laughs> about like, just that that guy. Like that is one happy guy. Laughing. <laughs> yeah. Walking is done. <laughs> oh man. So yeah. I, I'm not but, going yeah, to I, take it any more spoilers. But yeah. Yes, wait wait a couple of years until I catch up. <laughs> <laughs> you you can just listen to the, the, the resumes and I yeah, I'm not I'm not a cheater. And I, yeah. To see every episode, I start to see every episode uh, in the 100. I start to see the long episode. So yeah, okay. mm. and yeah, the part of uh, Henry Crabgrass is just <laughs> out of the fun. Yeah, but Mercer, man, he he does it so right. Like the, just Mercer and and uh, and Laura Bailey, like she, Laura, they are. Yeah perfect in that scenario just like can i pet you and he's so into they have a chemistry i don't know what it is but <laughs> like you want that in your game you want that yeah. in your game well sorry yeah. we don't have chemistry we're bad <laughs> <laughs> we're just a bunch of noobs Uh, I, I it. We're getting time. better. We're getting yeah. better. Yeah. I thought it was so gonna be a... surprising. Yeah. 
Well, I thought it was be it, it was gonna be a combat intensive. Like I like I I feel like I don't go, do well in the combat. So like I really like read the spells of the guy and I thought of strategy. <laughs> just kill him. Uh, and then, then he was touched and, and it was just like the uh, whole thing was RP. I'm at the M2. Yeah, I knew yeah. what you were thinking and you were preparing stuff. So I was like, how can I like? play this so that I don't have to make certain roles, you know, like, yeah, I don't know if I'm doing this right, <laughs> <laughs> but I, like, know. I imagined it in certain scenario and I was going to go with it with like whatever you were saying, but like, it, I thought that it, you know, I don't know. Um, it depends if the guy was really, really sus like he did, he he trusted. At which point did he trust us? Did he really? If he really, really didn't trust us, I think he would not maybe uh, have trusted us to like circle him or uh, uh, just uh, with the spell I cast. Well, it wouldn't have allowed you to touch him I that did, much. I did really like work him out. Like I cast a spell on his soup, and then I. On his two, and then I cast a spell on the on the drinks. Um, he could have rolled a an arcana check to see which spell I was casting when I would cast the inflict wounds, and that yeah. would have given him a chance. But then but again, in that like he was I, distracted for the conversation. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I really played it out so that the trick, and, and to make sure that certain rolls. Then go through. For me, that as a player, that's how I play D and D, and I'm sorry about it. <laughs> oh, well, that was was pretty clever. <laughs> no, it was yeah. nice. Like uh, to me, I, I I just saw it as like you wasn't really looking uh, at what you were doing, so you couldn't really have noticed. Um, yeah, and and uh, when he was alone spell. and we were talking, did he like ever like try? Did you roll something? To see if we, we he was hearing us. Um, no, I didn't actually. Because th that That's if th it all depends on if he was really, really naive and trusting us or not, and depending on his wisdom, uh, if he had high wisdom, I would have rolled something to see if he was trying to perceive us, and maybe uh, I don't know which spell he had. But if he had like some kind of either scrying or um, s s spells like um, yeah sc scrying maybe I don't know what it is but the the uh, something to detect um, uh, I would have done it but it depends on his wisdom basically yeah he didn't have quite high wisdom I think he had like uh, yeah usually they do like yeah. yeah. Oh no, plus mages? One. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's one. 12. No, he. Yeah. Well, then again, it's a judgment call. Did, did he trust us or not? Like for reals. Oh. Um, and, and the way you play, you were playing he, it, he was, he was kind of not trusting us. Like he was like, they could stab me in the back, right? In the, in this kind of mindset. So maybe it, I, I would not have sit with the group. Like he, he must have knew that he was in a sense is he was really, really like vulnerable. And for that kind of lonely guy getting undeads <laughs> as kind of lo like soul friends, um, I would have kind of said, you know, the undeads are going to stay with me or like develop the character in a certain way, like a weird way. Like this guy like loves undead. <laughs> You know, like not just for protection, yeah. but he has this weird thing about undeads. Like he's friends with them, and he he does not want to get away from them because he's lonely all the time. And you guys are kind of you know, especially with cleric of Kelimvor. He if he knew what it was, then he knew already it was a huge threat. He should have known a huge threat. <laughs> so so it de again, it's all depending, but the. I mean, it's, I think it's really great that you let us also have that kind of opportunity because it. I think there's a lot of fear 
in the group that you know this guy's gonna kill us <laughs> you know and a lot of overthinking about how do we approach this certain things and i'm all, i'm playing like mostly ah don't worry about it and i'm thinking is do, do i made a game do i not made a game <laughs> but i don't know if i yeah, played no, it well i then... get it i didn't think about it that much <laughs> like you you would uh... <laughs> I, I just, uh, for me, it was just um, more uh, like he, he kind of knew about it, but kind of wanted to trust it, you guys. Mm. But. Uh, so maybe he had a, a reason to trust us or like it was worth the risk. You know, it's something that we maybe not know. We, that, that we'll never know because we killed him. Like there's something out there that it was worth the risk that we don't know about, you know, that guy was not alone. So he had friends or something that, and that, well, uh, that's, <laughs> I love D and D. Now we don't know anything about the tower. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or information yeah. he was possibly going to give us, but. Mm -hmm. but we saved well, well. the miner yes the miners are saved even if it was only so, a rumor yeah we're <laughs> we're great I mean. so, well, yeah, we're we'll find great. Our miners yeah, yeah. well <laughs> it was <laughs> you have miners in your town where, where can i find miners here <laughs> are you a miner Yes. Are you scared of zombies? Well, well, yes. All right, then we killed the necromancer. What are you guys <laughs> talking about? <laughs> Where's our reward now? <laughs> yeah. We saved the town <laughs> from it zombies and head. orcs. <laughs> he's, he's, he's still out. He's <gasps> still crisp <laughs> with the vein in the air. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> All right. Thank you, guys. Yep. It was fun. See you next week. See you next week. Do you guys have any idea where you're going next? <laughs> North. After this, we don't know. We're going to the yeah. Wyvern something. We, we, need to go, we need to go back to Fanolin. To go to the information for yeah. Sister Gael. Yeah, and uh, grab copper and head on to the <laughs> fortress of whatnot. Yeah, right? to find the... That's our main hat. quest. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's our main quest. What about the orcs? Oh, yeah, we could kill some orcs. Yeah, I mean, might... we're close to the orcs. Uh, well, I think. Are we? Is it north? We're, we're, but we don't know just... anything else that other than it's, it's being north. Orcs, but we never see orcs. It's so. great in-game roleplay, though. I have a map. What are we going to do next? <laughs> the next week I'm going right. and Next yeah, week, Kevin, we'll know. Wanna, next week. If you want to prepare for next week. <laughs> <laughs> you have to cover all possibilities. Uh, orcs, uh, we get lost yeah. trying to find the orcs. We never find the cave. Uh, we might go back to Fendalin to get copper, then go fight goblins. Or something else completely. You have Find to cover all the options. <laughs> yeah, because it's yeah. it's a lot of role playing <laughs> here. Because honestly, Semad doesn't care about orcs. He doesn't really care about Fenlin. He has a mission he's gonna carry out, and it feels like he gave like they gave Fenlin a chance at getting strong. You know, at getting free, and now it's up to them. Yeah, but and Fern Fern cares problem. though. That's Does right. Fern so like to uh, defend those who cannot? Need to happen. Good. Yeah. Yep. Good evening. Nice. Let's do this. See you next week. Next week. Bye guys. Bye bye.